Tinkercad tip, we've been working on this electronics enclosure box. This is part two. Um, what we're shooting for here is a box that looks similar to this, with the post in it, inset holes at the top for the screws, mounting posts, if you can see them there on the inside for this ESP32. Let's go ahead and move this out of our way. So on our work plane here, I have a model of the ESP32, and I've also modeled up the M3 screws that I'm going to be using. Here I have an exploded version of that, so I can look at all of the dimensions while I'm working. What we want to do next is in the corners of the inside of this box that we made, I want to put um, posts for holes to go in that these screws will thread into. The threaded part of these screws is about, what is it, 2.86 millimeters. So we're going to start with a whole cylinder. Let's go ahead and make that 64 sides. And let's make the dimensions, and I am just clicked on the shift key here. So shift click, and we're going to make it 2.9. We want a little bit of tolerance in there but enough plastic for the threads of the screw to bite into. Let's go ahead and raise the dimensions of this up. Now for these posts, we want a solid cylinder. And again, we're going to increase that to 64 sides. And we want there to be enough plastic on both sides of this pole um, to bite into. So we're going to make this nine millimeters in diameter. There we go. And let's go ahead and bring this in. Let's line these up together. This way and this way. Let's go ahead and merge those together. There we go. Let's bring this up. All right, now we want to start lining those up in the corners of our box. So let's go ahead and move our box lid up out of the way so we can see what's going on here. So what I want to do is move this cylinder inside of here on this surface. So let's make this our current work plane. Select this, hit the letter D to drop it. Let's go ahead and drag it over this way. And for the time being, let's make this taller. Let's go ahead and put our work plane back on the default. Now let's line this up into the corner. So we're going to select our cylinder. We'll shift select the box. Click align. We'll align it this direction and this direction. With our snap grid at one millimeter, we'll be using our cursor keys to move this into the box a little bit. So we'll go over, whoop, we'll select just the cylinder. We'll go over to and up to. Let's go ahead and reduce the size of this to just below the surface of the box here. Let's set this to point one. There we go. We can do the same thing in the next corner. Let's duplicate this. Shift select the box. Now this time we're going to align it to just this right side. We'll select that, put our snap grid back to one, one, two. We have that one placed. We can select both of these. Let's hit duplicate. Shift select the box. Click on the alignment tool. We'll align them in this direction. 
We'll reselect that one, shift select that one, and we'll nudge it over one, two. There we go. So now we have all four of our corners and the holes in these should be just the right size, hopefully, to accept the thread on our screws. So be watching for the next video. In the next video, we'll begin working on this lid here. Let's drop this down again. And we'll be adding the same things to the lid, the holes for the screw, and then also the insets to accept the heads of these M3 screws to make them flush with the surface.